everybody, it's your old pal Ron from Extreme Sequences, and I was scouring my Facebook group, that's Extreme Sequences Syndicate, and guess what? One of my favorite buddies and pals from across the pond, Greg Macquarie, also known as Panel Daddy. Gosh, that guy is smart. Uh, he had a question today about tunnels, and I thought, you know, I know something about tunnels, and there were some great answers in there. And some very good answers, but I thought seeing is believing. One thing to tell someone to do something, I've learned this after years and years of training, that sometimes you have to show it for people to believe it. So I have before you two tunnels, and they look pretty similar. I mean, if I were to bring this down here, there you go, there's the tunnel. They look the same, but they're not. And if we were to look under the bellies of them, you would see. What Greg was asking for was sort of a whole house effect with the tunnels using a butterfly and to have it sweep across and use from one end to the other the full effect, which is this, this is doing. But the other tunnel is not. And I think maybe this is what Greg was experiencing, and I'm not sure, he'll tell me after the video, uh, but that's not going to work for what he's looking for. And so there was a very nice gentleman on there that actually said, hey, why don't you create a view? And that's exactly what you can do. And it's super, super easy to do. All right, are you ready to see how to do it? Okay, here we go. So the first thing you want to do is be in your layout tab and see the lay of the land. And then you want to position it the way you want. In this case here, what I did with the tunnels, I kind of put them front and center. And I just wanted to get a bird's eye view. Just wanted to look at them from above the top. There's all sorts of cool things you could do with views to get an interesting look. Um, and this is one of them. So let's just get this right about here. That looks good. If I right click, I can actually save a current viewpoint. And so let's do that. And I will call this top view two. There we go. Let's just do that. Okie dokies, okie dokies. And now that I'm done with that, I can click save. I can go over here to the sequencer and I can go to this tunnel two that's not quite looking right. Let me bring this down here. I'll scoot this. I'll just dock it. Let's just dock it. That way we can see it. And you can see one looks right. This one doesn't. But if I click on the effect and change my render style to per preview, that opens up the ability to use the camera view. And now I can use the one I made, which was above top, or I can choose the one I just now made, which is top view two. And it looks pretty similar. Now we have full butterfly effect working across the entire tunnel. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, it works for other effects as well. So what I challenge you to do, experiment with various layouts, moving this thing around. Maybe you're gonna do something like this, make it interesting, save it, and see how the effects look. That's it. Easy peasy, baby, gotta go. Mm -hmm.